In this final part of topic 8, we're going to talk about wave statistics. And we'll cover wave measurement briefly and then wave time domain analysis. Well, wave heights are measured using these wave boys. They're scattered all over the, um, the oceans and they're managed by, by various government agencies to track wave heights. And they provide a wave trace. Here we can see the, the wave height through time um, tracked by one of these wave boys. And of course, it's convenient to imagine that um, waves are this nice, neat sinusoidal um, time series, but in fact, um, they're far less regular than that. And we have waves of different height and different periods. So the question then is how we characterize wave conditions when we have such a variable um, time series of, of, of wave heights. One way to do this is to measure the height of each wave and make a frequency distribution. This plot shows um, frequency, uh, height, wave height ranges, 0 to 0.5, 0.5 to 1 meters, or three, three bins in that range. And it gives the number of waves um, uh, in each of these wave height ranges. And it's possible to fit a probability distribution to um, these frequency distributions and this uses the uh, what's called the the rally distribution which is given here so the other thing we can do is to identify individual waves and and take measurements of wave height and period for each of those individual waves and to do this we look at the mean um, uh, sea level and we identify upward or we could use downward um, crossings, but in this case it's based on upward crossings. And for each wave, we can measure the wave height, shown here, HZ, and the wave period. We can do that again and again for different waves based on these upward crossings. And from that we can calculate the mean uh, wave height, the mean period. We can also look at the maximum wave height, or the root mean squared of the wave heights, or well, this one, which is the, the H one third, which is the, the 66th percentile wave height, or the, the wave height where there's one third of the waves is higher. And this is referred to as the significant wave height. Or if we're more interested in that, the more extreme waves, we could use the, the, the 90th percentile, or the, the height where there's only one tenth of the waves are greater.